think you'd fuck up Mike Tyson? Who is now much older, right? Heavily I don't know under how the influence. Use those words, but I, I, I would win. You and, would win. And I think. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Al. Al. <laughs> you are a hater, bro. Oh so are you serious, bro? Serious as a heart attack. The internet is abuzz with the latest chapter in the bizarre saga of Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson. Fresh training footage of Paul has dropped, and the fight world, well, maybe more like the fight curious, is eagerly awaiting the reactions of two combat sports icons, Iron Mike himself and the ever outspoken Joe Rogan. Training footage, Mike Tyson booms, his voice echoing through the gym. A wry smile stretches across his face as he watches a clip of Jake Paul's latest video on a nearby phone. They call that training footage? More like a highlight reel for his morning jog? He throws his head back and lets out a hearty laugh, the sound reverberating off the weights like thunder. This kid, Paul, thinks a few fancy footwork drills and shadow boxing make him ready for Iron Mike. They must be showing a different video over at his place. Shaking his head, Tyson continues, his voice hardening. Let me tell you something, he says, his words carrying the weight of his illustrious career. Back in my day, training was a war zone. Blood, sweat, and the constant fear of getting knocked out by your own teammate. This Paul character throws a couple of weak punches and thinks he's ready for the real deal. It's laughable. Tyson leans closer to the phone, his gaze fixated on Paul's physique. He's got the physique of a high school cheerleader, all pumped up with flash but no real substance. Look at those arms. All show and no go. One good right hook from me and that kid's gonna be singing soprano for a week. The air crackles with anticipation as Tyson clenches his fists. They talk about a mismatch. This ain't a mismatch, this is a mismatch and a beatdown rolled into one. I might be a few years older, but the fire still burns in my belly. This fight? It's an easy payday, a chance to remind these young punks what real iron looks like. A glint of steel flashes in his eyes. So, Jake Paul, if you're listening, keep pumping those weights, kid. You're gonna need all the muscle you can muster when I step into that ring. Because when that bell rings, it ain't gonna be no playground tussle. It's gonna be a massacre, and you'll be wishing you were back filming those silly YouTube pranks. Joe Rogan pulls up the video of Jake Paul's training on his podcast. All right, folks, he says, leaning into the microphone. Let's take a look at this latest footage of Jake Paul. Now listen, the kid's definitely putting in the work. You gotta give him credit for that. He pauses the video, pointing at the screen. See that footwork? It's a lot sharper than it used to be. He's clearly been working on his agility. A concerned look washes over Rogan's face. Look, I get the appeal. Tyson versus Paul, it's a spectacle, a clash of generations. But is it a fair fight? Absolutely not. Father Time is undefeated, and Mike Tyson is 57 years old. Sure, he might still have some of that old magic left, those flashes of brilliance we see in the training footage. But can he sustain that for an entire fight? Can his reflexes keep up with a younger, faster opponent? Rogan sighs, shaking his head. Let me tell you something, folks. Even a diminished Mike Tyson is a dangerous proposition. One punch from Iron Mike, even at his age, could put Jake Paul down for the count. This isn't just about winning or losing a fight. It's about potential health risks. A fight like this, it wouldn't be a competition. It would be a risk. 
Rogan leans forward, his voice firm. So, Jake Paul, if you're listening, here's some advice from a fight fan. This might not be the fight you're looking for. There are plenty of talented young boxers out there who would be a more appropriate challenge. Focus on building your skills, your legacy. Don't chase headlines that could end in real danger. Do you think you can still hit as hard as you used to be able to? We're gonna see. I can say this, my last fight, I didn't have no interest in doing it. I'm interested in doing it now. Feel this is fun right now. This bit here. This and then boom. Then we're going to the fight. This is the fun part. Everything else is boom. Oh hell. I don't take it serious as I did when I was younger. It's gonna be entertaining. You know, because um I'm a fighter, he's a fighter. And of course, you know, we're gonna with the internet throwing punches. And during that process anything can happen. How do you see the fight going? What's your prediction? Do you have a prediction? Do you think I can knock him out in the first round or the eighth round? I'm just gonna just go right at him as soon as the bell. We're just gonna see what happens. I'm gonna go to plan B, punch him back. I don't look at life as being age. I look at life as energy. And you don't bring your age to the table. You bring your energy to the table. You don't go meet people, hey, I'm Bob, I'm 59. You don't I'll do never that. call another fighter a bum again. You know, because um, the process of getting in shape to fight somebody is just... Um, psychologically overwhelming. You turned your life around so many times. What do you credit that to? What is that? Tell me about that. What did, what did you mean by turning my life around? You, I'm you just, um, I'm just struggling like everyone else here. I'm learning from life's mistakes. A life, um, on wins. You know, it's, I, I'm doing what you're doing. We all out here surviving. Some struggling more than others. Some struggling with demons that we create ourselves. We're just out here in this world getting pitched punches of life let's face it a prime tyson would have devoured paul faster than you can say youtube knockout but father time waits for no man and tyson is now 57 years old the question that burns is this can a legend recapture even a glimpse of his former glory the answer based on leaked snippets of tyson's training is a surprising maybe imagine this a fierce jab rattles the heavy bag, followed by a lightning-fast right hook that sends it swinging wildly. Sweat drips from Tyson's brow, but his movements retain a surprising agility. They think I'm old and washed up, Tyson growls between sets, his voice still carrying the unmistakable edge of a champion. They haven't seen anything yet. The fire still burns in my belly. I may be a few years older, but the iron mic they remember is still here. His trainer throws a skeptical glance, but there's no denying the power behind Tyson's punches. The raw intensity in his eyes speaks volumes. This isn't some publicity stunt. Tyson, it seems, is genuinely dedicated to proving he still has what it takes. Of course, whispers abound about just how much of this is real and how much is smoke and mirrors. Sure, the videos are impressive, but can Tyson maintain that intensity for a full fight? Can his reflexes, dulled by age, still react to a younger, faster opponent? Tyson's inner circle remains tight-lipped. There's a sense of cautious optimism, a belief that while Mike may not be the invincible force he once was, he still possesses enough knockout power to send shivers down any opponent's spine. Don't underestimate the heart of a champion. One of Tyson's trainers is quoted as saying, Mike's got a lot left to prove, and he's hungry to do it. Recently, Iron Mike issued a stern warning to none other than Jake Paul, the brash YouTuber turned boxer who's been making waves in the ring. Tyson didn't mince words when he made it clear that he's ready to throw down with Paul if the opportunity arises. And knowing Tyson's ferocious reputation and knockout power, that's not a challenge you take lightly. With his signature aggression, Tyson didn't hold back in his warning to Jake Paul. Picture the intensity in his voice as he growls, If you want to dance, you better be ready to tango with the baddest man on the planet. I'll knock you into next week, kid. You think you're tough? I'll show you what tough really means. For Tyson, it's not just about the fight. It's about sending a message. He's been there, done that, and has the scars to prove it. To him... 
Jake Paul represents the new wave of fighters who need a reality check, a reminder of what it truly means to step into the ring with a living legend. Mike Tyson's condition to make up to $245 million fighting with Jake Paul. Mike Tyson's condition to agree to 245 million mega fight with Jake Paul. Uncle Mike, I think we can make more than $245 million, brother. Sign the contract, big boy! Sign the contract! The combat sports world is caught in a whirlwind over the potential clash between the Titans, the legendary Mike Tyson, and the social media sensation, Jake Paul. While Paul's recent training footage has sparked conversation, the real firestorm revolves around his audacious claim, a winner-take-all prize of a staggering $500 million. Let's not sugarcoat it. A prime Tyson would have devoured Paul faster than a trending hashtag, but age is an undefeated foe, and Tyson now stands at 57. The question that hangs heavy in the air is this. Can a hungry young fighter exploit the cracks in a legend's armor? Jake Paul, for one, seems to believe so. Gone are the days of flashy Instagram posts and choreographed boxing matches with fellow influencers. The new Jake Paul that stares back from training videos is a man on a mission. His footwork is sharper, his punches carry more weight, and there's a steely glint in his eyes that speaks of determination. This ain't no YouTube stunt. Paul declares in a recent interview, his voice laced with a newfound intensity. This is a $500 million fight, and I'm coming for everything Tyson has left. He leans forward, his gaze fixed on the camera. Half a billion dollars? That's enough to change my life, my family's life, for generations. You think I'm going to let some old dude stand in my way? The training videos themselves are a testament to Paul's newfound dedication. Gone are the sloppy movements of his earlier fights. He's pushing himself harder than ever before, drenched in sweat and fueled by a burning ambition. Whether this translates into actual fighting ability against a seasoned brawler like Tyson remains to be seen. However, one thing is clear. Paul isn't approaching this fight with the naivety of a social media star stepping into the ring for a casual exhibition. He's studying Tyson's movements, exploiting his weaknesses, and preparing for a war. There's even a hint of arrogance in his pronouncements, a belief that youthful resilience can overcome the experience and raw power of a legend. This fight, if it happens, will be a fascinating spectacle. A young, hungry fighter with a massive financial incentive pitted against a grizzled veteran with a point to prove. But let's not forget the inherent danger. Mike Tyson, even at his age, is a predator. One well-placed punch from Iron Mike could spell disaster for Paul. And Paul himself seems aware of this danger. There's a subtle edge to his threats, a hint of respect mixed with the bravado. I respect what Mike Tyson has done. Paul concedes in a separate interview. He's a legend, but legends can be dethroned, right? And let me tell you something, Mike, that 500 million is looking mighty tempting. Consider this a formal warning. I'm coming for you, and I ain't leaving the ring empty-handed. Whether this audacious gamble by Paul pays off or ends in a brutal reality check remains to be seen. But one thing's for sure, the world will be watching captivated by this bizarre David versus Goliath showdown where the stakes have never been higher.